Hey guys, it's your boy Ezekiel. Today we're going to do the tutorial for CapCut. Timeline. What is it? The timeline is the part of any editing program that allows us to, one, add all type of media. Doesn't matter how much you add on this. It's not a problem for CapCut. Two, allows us to cut, arrange, adjust, basically manipulate any part of the video. Okay, let's start with the easy. Redo, undo. Redo, and undo buttons. Next up, the split button. Split button lets us cut part of the media so we can manipulate even more. You can put the first part at the end, the middle part at the beginning, and so on. T delete trash button. You can do that with the right click and press delete or you can use the icon, however you feel more comfortable. This is the freeze button. I really don't know any other use other than using the, and that's when he realized he fucked up moment, but okay. Next up is the, oh yeah, right here you guys can see what's he doing, freezes and keeps on going. This is the ring wind button. Okay, it literally, like it says, rewinds the whole thing. It actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. Look at that cat going, that <laughs> bunny going backwards. And if you press it again, it turns it back to its normal state, as you guys can see. Okay, there's the flip button or the mirror button. It actually looks pretty cool in videos. I've never seen this in Fortnite. But yeah, guys, get creative. Okay, now the rotate button. It literally does what it's named after. The crop button to readjust, crop out things you don't want or things you do need. And this is now the video tab. In the video tab, we're gonna find the opacity percentage button. You guys just really got to play around with it here. This is the sharpness. You really can't notice unless I make the screen bigger, like right there. This is the definition. It looks smoother now. Okay. This is the size of the meter percentage. Oh, there you guys, you guys can see now. It's a little bit difference, but it's there. Little difference makes big difference. And let's zoom out to 100%. Okay. Now, this is the rotate button. I mean, or the, yeah. You can do it over there or you can do it here. It really depends how much you want to put in. And now, remember math class? Yeah, X and Y does have a purpose. X, as you guys know, means left to right and y means up and down now this option is almost the same as the first one like the opacity but it has some presets for some reason it's kind of weird i've never honestly used it but if you guys find anything extraordinary well comment below and share it with us These are the ones that I has, so I'm just playing around with them so you guys can see how they work. And yeah, moving on. This is what we would call the video layouts. Be creative guys, add more than one video on here or heck, I don't know. <laughs> this star looks pretty crazy. Looks weird though. Love. Okay, now let's move on to, this is the audio tab. This is where we can manipulate anything and everything about the audio in the video you inserted or the track that you inserted. Yeah, I actually delete this one so you guys can see we can manipulate not only the tracks we throw in here, 
but the tracks that are in our video. Yeah, so let's turn it down. And these are what we call, it's gonna be easier on the track. So yeah, let's do it here. And this is what we call a fade in. And this would be a fade out. Yeah. Okay, enough with that. Now let's go to the, this is options are for manipulating the pitch. It brings presets and you can also do it manually, but yeah, some sound pretty cool, weird. Gives it a different in your videos or for whatever you need it, you know? And uh, yeah, let's just play them so you guys can hear and not have doubts if you haven't installed this program already. Okay, I think that's all of them. So let's move on. And now we are gonna go to the time tab. In this tab, I think it's one of the most important, if not the most important ones, because this is where you wanna slow down, speed up, and just where content creators would cut, add effects, and show off a clip, really. It helps out more in like Fortnite clips, Warzone clips, or any shooter games. Because it's like you can slow down and then boom, you can show off where you did a headshot, where you did a snipe or anything that you really couldn't see if it was going in normal speed. So yeah, that's something how it looks like. Also, it's where you can remove errors. It's where you can cut, delete, and act like if you were you never have mistakes in games, right? So we would do that, delete, and replace it with a flawless clip. One where we looks like we don't even make mistakes. And this is an option to manipulate time. If you need to be a little bit slower or faster, it can go down to frames and seconds so if you let's say you don't want half speed or you don't want 0.6 speed you can be modulating it just by seconds it's actually pretty cool So there, I'm gonna let you guys see how it works, how it goes, and how it resizes in real time in the timeline. And it also brings presets. Sometimes presets work pretty great if we don't want to cut and manipulate it manually. Not always, but sometimes. Or maybe we're going for something on a curve or, you know, you just gotta experiment with it. And now moving on, we have what I would call intro transitions because they literally go at the beginning of the clip. And you can play around with it, get to know it and see what you like and the duration you need. Because it counts in seconds. So you can go to from zero, from one millisecond 
to, I think it's 11 or 15 seconds. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Here we have what I would call ending transitions because they literally go at the end of the video. So it's also the same, you know, you gotta see what you like and the duration you need. Because as you guys can see, I can move it. I actually have it here. And these are from start to finish transitions. You can actually put this all during the clip or you can have time it or you can just do a little intro. Actually look pretty weird, but okay. Now this is the last tab. It's the video effects. Okay. In the video effects, you can have you have more options. It's like exposure, contrast, and saturation. This one would be sharpness, okay? So I'm gonna turn that out because you really can't see anything, but that's sharpness, okay? Looks so much better right there. You guys can see, it's really sharp right there. And we just turn it down, it even looks blurry now. These are shadows. You guys can see that without zooming in. This is like brilliance. I would call this black point. And these are color saturations. Actually, look, can give your video a warm or a cold feeling. So, yeah, guys, it's already 12 minutes, and I'm going to explain it in another part two video. If you guys want to know more, like and subscribe, and stay tuned in.